Okay. So, new week, new session, new big catch-up to show you what happened last time on Elden Ring. Uh, I decided to, obviously, since we're in the middle of Stormvale, exit Stormvale and start exploring the north side. So, um, in particular, most of my concentrated focus, in fact, let's be real, all of it, has been on the... Uh, continent north of Stormvale. So, so the first thing I noticed as soon as I walked back from if you remember that area where uh, I saved, the, where I found the grace in the north uh, walking a little bit further forward I saw a church. Okay. It's called the Church of Irith. All oh, these churches are pretty uh, dilapidated. Yeah, got a sacred tier. So, that's nice. Get a little flask update. What up? You're tarnished, aren't you? Then, perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blinstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Oh, just ten runes. Well, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Tobes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Now, whoever this guy is... Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. So yeah, whoever this dude is, he is the sound of the beginning of every one of these fucking games because that voice actor is just that's the guy that's the guy every he's crestfallen Mm -hmm. he's crestfallen mage in this particular instance but i'm like the moment you hear his voice it's like oh my god it's the same voice actor 100 percent So he okay. sells some basic spells. Yeah, you had he, the pibble and the tribe. And he's and yeah, and he's sad about the fact that he can't get in to where he got for to his school. He happened to be walking out right when they locked it down. Mm-hmm. You know, quarantine came just as he stepped outside, <laughs> and you get fucked. Uh, so he's got an arc, right? Which yeah, no need to double up spells. Um, you know, in in this game, but um, the third thing is. Uh, the Starlight okay. spell, which is an illuminating spell. Floating Starlight that illuminates surroundings? Granted to sorcerers who depart from the academy to embark on journeys. Even during the blackest nights, sojourns underground, or imprisonment in jail, the stars are never far from a sorcerer's side. So anything that lets me, you know, cast and not have to worry about a torch, yeah. sounds nice. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. I think I bought something. Oh. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy, and you'll never reach the Erd Tree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, 
My place is at the academy. So yeah, when you get a spare, take a come apprenticeship up. with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history oh. of the academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the academy. Damn. Senpai was too cool. Of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. She was the upperclassman, and she was the, the coolest, and everybody was looking up to her. And then she did some shit, and now she's out, and she's wearing a stone mask. And that's basically his deal. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. All right. So then, not too far from there, is this little, like right in front of the grace. You could look down, and remember we just saw a big old fog thing? Yeah. And a cliff? So this is the immediate cliffside underneath it, okay. which, you know, you got to get your wits about you and do a little bit of platforming <laughs> and uh, a bit of goat simulator. Well, so grave cliffside grave platforming seems to be the name of the game. Um, why people would be buried sideways into these cliffs is, is unknown, but they appear to be the best way down in many death drop circumstances where there's no big like wind jumps available um yeah well done and then apparently two jumping and then uh doing a second jump at the last second actually adds to fall damage because the damage is based on hang time Okay. So bouncing in the air further, it pro uh, like, like prolongs the damage. So it's even worse. Than so I it's even worse. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, don't do that anymore. So, duly noted. Uh, I then found a graveyard nearby academy with an academy scroll, scroll in it, uh, which those are for buying new spells. So I killed some killed some zombos, got one of those. Uh, also, there's a second graveyard nearby with a warming stone. Okay. So we got some new items. A lot of these are just screenshots of new items I've picked up. Um, traveled down a road, killed some some guards uh, that are that have little, little magic casting abilities, and uh, they dropped some real Lucarian gauntlets. Magic gauntlets. Uh, then I also fought a giant, and right behind the giant was this uh, caravan with a tree spear in it. Okay. A uh, little encampment with a couple of dudes called out Broleg, found a cuckoo glimstone. <laughs> okay. Um, and we'll do a little ride through of this of the zone just to show you, like, to, so you can f see what it kind of what it looks like. Right. Another but eyeball. Found another grape. Ooh. Found something called the Two Fingers Earloom. Okay. Um. And then, uh, yeah. Found a new type of enemy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Look at their arms and shit. Grafted motherfuckers. They kind of go nuts. They flail until they fall to the ground. <laughs> and if they're not flailing, they're arrowing in every direction. It's a bit wild. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, you might have noticed a little floating balloon at the beginning of that clip. We'll see more of those. But there's floating balloon things that you shoot them and then they drop runes. Oh, wow. Throughout the, uh, okay. the, the zones. So, uh, right there in the distance. Okay, yes. That sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's a rune attached to it and you just have to, like, pop it. You know, so okay. that's, a, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, so not too far from that area uh, was a little place called Petrified Runes. Um, purified, yeah. Excuse me, purified. There was a ghost there. What does the ghost say? Come out, one and all, from the darkness on the ground, and let us offer unto the maiden our eyes. Mm -hmm. More grape givers. So, there you go. Beautiful view coming out of that cellar. Okay. <laughs> Showing your trip pictures. <laughs> yeah, 
little bit, you know. I want to see something nice. Why did you go on vacation? Just, just to, I mean, let you know what the game is doing. Yeah. Um. So I think this is. Oh yeah. Okay. This is me just kind of looking around the ruins and taking note of some stuff. The wildlife. That is a giant lobster. Yo, get the cheddar biscuits. Yo. Miyazaki loves neo crustaceans. Get the <laughs> cheddar biscuits. Neo crustaceans, best fighting game. Bow. <laughs> get the biscuits for you. Humans taste better. Let's kind of crack open your shell. And that second hand is just a stabby thing. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Prawn. Deleted. Shout outs, lobster. <laughs> Red lobster. <laughs> Went back for the run back. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> Why are you so real? <laughs> What's going like the walk speed? <laughs> right? Like what is what is going on here, man? Sniping. Just roaming the wastes. That Yo, that's so fast. <gasps> it's like a laser beam. Absolutely terrifying. Laser squirt. Snipe. Lobsters can snipe. Clean. One and done. <laughs> that wasn't like a counter hit. That was just like stab you. They are problems. Oh my okay. God. So the lobster continues to <laughs> exist. And we just fucking ruin his day. And poke at him. Almost. Like, it recovers and w tracks you so quickly, dude. Like the crabs, but like just next level, you know? Apex predator. <laughs> yeah, you really, you like, you can't take the obvious looking moments. Like. <laughs> what a combo. You know, it's like, man, anyway. Veteran fighter. And he's on you. Uh oh. And he's on you. And he's tracking. And he won't let you turn. And there, there we go. So, uh, yeah, lobsters are out there. What did it drop? Be aware. Some bisque. Strip of white flesh. Nothing oh, of note. Worms. Nothing of note. Okay. All right. So down in that in that mushy area, we went into the swamps. We came across a glintstone firefly. So we got a new crafting material. We can see some ruins jetting out of the ground there. And uh, some magical, like, hobo creatures. <laughs> let's, let's just be real. Uh, they're oh, about... A piece of map. They're out and about. Exactly. So you remember we saw in the darkness? That's where I put this the, the, the sign down. And we found the map for Liernia. Uh, they're called Revenants, apparently. Well. Zombie homeless. That's fine. They shoot the magic. Um, you put, uh, yeah, a big chunk of that map down. And you can see a whole lot of the northern area. So I'm like, okay, with that map found, I think I know what my, my mission is going to be. I think I'm going to focus on uh, this zone. So that's the spell, by the way. Like, that's kind of what it looks Above like. your head? Yeah, exactly. Starlight, which... Yeah, having a free hand is nice. 
Um, some of them chilling out, doing their thing. Whoa. You know. All right, they go down. They go, they go down. They go down. They go down. And and again, again with the arms, you know. Just too many limbs up in this motherfucker. Too many things with too many limbs. Goro's just a regular guy. And hey, look at that. Okay. Merchant? Just outside the danger zone. What up? Butterflies. Always. Always a pleasure. Mark that shit. You're new around here. Surprised you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but... Don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? I like the way he says nook. Mm -hmm. So he sells a couple things. Um, in particular, uh, a lantern, which immediately illuminates surroundings and you wear it on your belt. Okay. And as once it's, uh, once it's activated, you can just switch back off of it. So that kind of eliminates the need for starlight in a general sense. Starlight is still a better lighting tool, uh, but if you want a slot dedicated to it, you know, you have to sacrifice something. Right. Whereas here, this is just a free light for areas that are completely dark. Now, um, the torch being held alight is way more brightening, and the starlight is super brightening. This is a dim, dim thing, okay. but it helps with complete darkness either That's way. Cool. It's all it's all decent. So, so there's that. Uh... And there's also a, uh, yeah, I don't think I go, I browse through them, but there's a second staff right there. So that's a, an, uh, an alchemist's, uh, staff, okay. which is also sorcery casting and it has near identical stats to the starting one. It's, I think it's like one point extra in magic, uh, scaling damage. Oh. Um, so that's about it. Not much. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then down at the bottom is the um, Raya Lucarian, or not Raya Lucarian, the, um, it's, a, it's a set, it's a mage set. Uh, so particularly light, magic resistance good, you know, obviously less armored, but you get a cool look and the, the hoodie matched with the set actually, of course, interacts in an, an interesting way. The Astrologer set, there you go, that's the name. Um, so just behind his bonfire, of course, is a Grace. little Grace. So... That's Touch nice. It. Touch it. Yeah. That's a nice little find right there. So we can we can settle in and start chopping a little bit. Uh, so continuing onward, I found just behind him, looking down at the grace I just uh, activated, a sacrificial twig. Okay, that's good. Uh, going up the cliffside. Uh, also, I saw the some of these that? things. Oh, it is aggressive. Pale Rider ass, motherfucker. What is that? Uh, that's what those little ground fuckers spit out at you in the meantime. But he shoots them out too. Little tracking. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. so I was like, oh, okay, all right, you're not too bad, but, uh, you know, that happened. That was a little introduction. That happened fast. Yep. Um, nice. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Found a cookbook in the area as well. Uh, that The areas, yeah, the Lay Skyar Ruins is, is what that whole zone is called there, or at the very least, this this part of the, the water. Okay. So, going back towards that shop, found one of these, went to the top of the cliffside, and hey, standing rocks, you know what that means. Oh, Everjail? 
every time. Okay. And a stake right here. To do the tiny road to the jail. A yep. million ties. Yep. So what's in it? The malefactor. Malefactors ever jail. Yes, please. All right. How does it look? After last time, it's like I'm, I'm expecting the worst. Adon, thief of fire. Oh, oh, that cleanse don't hurt. Yeah. So did your sword. Yeah. Cool spells, though? Yeah. Oh, he's going down. Yeah. Oh, he's going down. Absolutely. So it's just some guy. <laughs> like, after the crucible fucking Yo. war, <laughs> the crucible war that I had. Oh, he bled. What the fuck is this? Oh, he did touch you, though. He did touch. But. And he jerks. And he's rolling. But it's kind of just some fat guy. <laughs> Anti-aired. To the ground. Oh my god, that hurt. Bye-bye, buddy. He's got that. Did you run out of fire? So that's the flail. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> just its some guy. Flame of the fell god. I was quite surprised at the... Escalation and de-escalation of these ever jails. Did they just like steal the fire when no one was looking? I mean, yeah, that's kind of the idea. <laughs> but like, yeah, you know, you go fucking bloodhound, crucible, fucking tubbo. <laughs> You're like, okay, let's do this. But he's got a big old, he's got a big old pyromancy with him, right? So we'll check those out. Uh, I found another campsite. Cool. Inside it was another cookbook. Uh, and I went around, you know, took out some people, got a normal short sword, which I never picked up, apparently. Okay. Took the scroll back to her. Ah, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Cool. There you go. So she now sells. Uh, she gets the... Oh. Swift, Swift Flintstone for shard. fast shots. To lower range. As well as the uh, Great Shard. So a big one. And then the Stars, which is multiple. Okay. Three shooting stars. Yeah. All of which are instant. These are more like um, uh, um, these are more like uh, soul arrows. They just shoot right away, unlike okay. the ones that I have, which are like set up and then target. Yeah. These ones are, are more re resembling of the old the old sorceries. So, uh, yeah, basically that's that. And then I, I buy a couple of these once I get some money, a little bit of extra money, a little later. Cool. Uh, oh, I think she does. She say something else. draws upon the powers embedded in glinstone but what is the nature of such power glinstone is the amber of the cosmos golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality while glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars it should not be forgotten that glinstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. So magic in this game comes from space. And Can you replay that whole scene? Sure. It's more of an astro astrological thing in this game. It's less of a, like, you relying on the inherent power of gods that may or may not have power that you can steal. And it's more about, like, straight up, we p took a space rock and put it on our thing, and we're using space rocks to do these. Yeah. Huh. Our art 
draws upon the powers embedded in Glinstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. I'm going to assume, though I shouldn't, that Amber might have something to do with um, incantations and miracles. Yeah, gold stuff. That's right? the stuff that's gold. Uh huh. And we have not done any of that. But the the words make me think that she's describing the opposite side of the, of the fence. Uh, but here, the blue, the space... The glintstone is all, uh, yeah, that shit's fucking grab a meteor and use it to cast, you know? Uh, so that's what she said. It kind of reminds me of, like, in Dark Souls when, like, you learn that, like, magic and pyromancy and, like, uh, faith, rather, faith and and all these things kind of like the same source. Or was it? Oh, uh, Demon's Demon Souls, rather. In, yeah. Demon's in Souls. Demon's Souls, yes. They all come from the old one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. No, it's fun to learn the back, the, the lore behind that stuff, because exactly, you want to know, like, what are what are the, what, what makes this work? Yeah. You know, what, what's the deal? Um, so, yeah, I used uh, the seed. Uh, not the seed, the... Um, sacred tear? The sacred tear. Increased the, the flask sips. There you go. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay! So, this. so we put some fists on. <laughs> <laughs> and we started fucking around with them. And that's a good sword, by the way. That's a this fun... Mounter. That, yeah. Because that's his big curved great sword. So that's a nice little fun thing to play with. Nice drop. And I'm like, yeah, let's, let's fuck around. Right, and I found a nice little way so I can tuck the without fucking with my scroll, I can tuck the cestus onto the alternate the, the left hand, second slot, and then dual wield second slot, and we just double fist up on the fly. Okay. So when fun time comes, we just go pop pop and we're good, and we still can have the sword and the the, the cast on the on the right hand. Not bad. <laughs> so that's always fun. Uh new enemy found. As you see I'm wearing the new set. I also switched to a lighter shield because now I can put no skill inside of it. Whoa. So some pyro boys. Jesus. Well, they're aggro. Fire spitting. Yeah. Sturdy. It's a giant mace. The very. With like blaze, like looks, serrated. It, will, it looks like a flame, like carving. Mm. Which I'm sure, if you hunt enough, you can probably get him to drop. Um, but yeah, new enemy wandering the countryside. Uh, found a bunch of little thieves that ambush you and okay. put poison traps on the ground and throw smoke bombs. And uh, they they drop these. Uh, smoke is a thing that's been happening uh, in this area too. Uh, that horse rider and these little dudes they throw smoke and it just fills the whole area up. And you can't see shit. Yeah, and it's not. And it's again, it's not like it's not like any status effect is happening. So um, I was afraid of like petrification and all that. Oh uh, like, yeah, but Curse it's, and stuff. <laughs> but it just like it's a uh, you know it makes it hard to get your to figure out where which way you're going. All right. Uh, Fire Monk's prayer book found this inside one of the nearby camps. A prayer book. Mm -hmm. So some some pyromancy spells basically. F Fire spermy new gesture. Didn't actually test it out. As well as a dappled cured meat. A dappled. So. Fire Monk greaves. These are pretty nice. Some heavy ass leggings. Okay. Uh, and then I found a new cave. Still water cave. Uh, yeah. Right down by the basin of where that water kind of ends. If you if you trace it all the way up, so on the map it'll be uh, a little more evident. So you know, 
<laughs> Where did he come from? Literally just pops out of the ground. I, I walk out of the cave, and it's like lobster time. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? Where did you come from? Oh, my. So, yeah. Uh, it ain't safe. This does not mess around. It ain't safe. No matter where you might be, if your feet are in the water, at least ankle deep, a lobster might be near you. <laughs> and you can't afford to do anything but stop and pay attention to the lobster. It lobster won't let go of you? Lobster demands your attention. He will chase. Uh, so yeah, we, we fight lobster. <laughs> we fucking just... And you get nothing for it. Oh yeah, sometimes... Sometimes the item floats. Sometimes if it car. dies in mid-air, the item will float. <laughs> and it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't shit. Okay. Alright, so we got a new helmet a little earlier up. So this is all that same upper pathway. Okay. And then I saw some stuff. Grace? kind of wild how little you get for, for taking the 10 minutes to fight the lobster. <laughs> Another ghost. Ah, the puppets. The puppets besiege us. Do they? Some broken statues. Some sort of conflict. Yeah. Yo, Oleg, get it here. Magic summon soldiers versus some regular boys. Who? <laughs> what? And that! Heading up the back. Giant Virgil? Giant summon swords. <laughs> so not all giants are made equal. Some of them have capes, helmets, and summoning abilities. What? Shot out in all directions there, too. We're just fighting each other. And you got in there. Massive. <laughs> yep. Whoops. Yep. So that's a two mistaker. Horse, you okay? There goes Oleg. Right? <laughs> like for the first time ever, he <laughs> actually like goes down. So I'm like, okay. I see what kind of levels we're dealing with here. Fortunately, it only tracks in his front side. But oh that's boy. more than enough. That's more than enough. Caught sleeping. One mistake. One mistake. Yeah. Eighty percent health Straight gone. <laughs> now in that area there was a crystal dart. Cool. Uh, I think we just run back in. We take the rematch, and uh, you know, work it. <laughs> Stick to the basics. Don't get fancy. In and out. In and out. Just don't get caught by any of those second swipes because they they instantly get turned into a third one that OTGs you. Mm. All right, no drops, but taken care of. So yeah, uh, 
on our merry way. We got those darts. And then we ride a little bit further in uh, to the forest, which has a ghost. What do you have to say? Rhea Lucaria, hallowed hall dedicated to the study of magic. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? So I'm gonna. St I'm starting to get conditioned to like. Yes, not everything that looks like a big foe will result in a reward. Mm, okay. Not everything is a reward. Not everything is worth it. Sometimes it's just a waste of your time. <laughs> You know, that's not how I like it, but that's the way it is. And then we reach the end of the road. Aha! Uh -huh. And another rune balloon on the left. And is that the Castlevania? That's the Castlevania. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, found another grace site. Uh, just down below in front of it. So just to the left of it is a fucking just giant bear sitting there that you got a solo, which I spent some time just fucking around with that bear. Okay. And uh, yeah, you get you get some beast blood, nothing big, but it's a problem. Uh, there's a bunch of these poison fuckers, and they drop land scratches, which is interesting because it means you can summon them, but they don't cost FP; they cost life. Oh, and they appear not around you but far away from wherever you summon. Okay. So basically, it's a way of casting poison in the area far away from you in a room wherever the enemies might be and just deal it's like if you just do, if you want to poison some shit and you don't feel like arrow sniping or tossing out pots, you know? Put that out. That's how it seems. Go a um, bit further. And it and it uses life. So, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, so then I found another shack. Okay. Necessary item ahead. Wow. Okay. Anybody in the shack? Ah, oh, picture. A painting. Artist time. This shack seems familiar. Visions of Castle. So we have to find this point of view. Yeah. Resurrection painting. Castle with the tree on the right side uh -huh. overlooking a cliff. And that little cemetery looking thing. Yeah. And then we've got a big old building over there. So that's a new area. Uh, at nighttime, back right where I, I sat at that grace. Oh, another knight's cavalry. Another knight's cavalry. Only at night. Decent damage. So I said, let's fucking do it, boy. So far, nothing new. So Bleed far. up. Now that we got our root resin available, we can make that grease whenever I need it. Whoa. Tight quarters. Tight, yep. Just want to find the right angle. Yeah, run right <laughs> sideways. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Samurai movie. And then we hit the ed edge of his boundary. So that's less cool. But both running sideways yeah. is absolutely <laughs> what I want. I want that, that that bamboo forest energy. Oh, that hurt. That's one. 75%. Don't make it two. Everything in this zone started becoming clear like, yeah, you're in the realm of two hit deaths. A lot of stuff here is two hit death. Which is another heads up about the... HP? Yeah, how's your vit? Because remember, because you know, we're walking, we're going beyond Stormvale, right? We're going into zones two and three and four and whatever, so, like, these encounters are now much less um, forgivable.
Okay. Let's it spank him. Just gotta, gotta be safe. Because that'll happen. No joke. And if you get comboed, then it's that damage plus OTG. <laughs> right? So you, you have to just be smart. GG. The sun is rising. Code it. <laughs> He's like, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> My shift is ending, man. Come on. <laughs> Sun ain't rising until I say it is. <laughs> Let's go. You still need to do your hours. It's just and daylight he's back in, walking back in, pushing it to the limit. He wants to fight in this tree surrounded environment, and I want the open space. <laughs> and then we bled him. And there we go. No horse. Enemy fell. So he keeps trying to push it back into a tree fucking zone. And he gives us oh, the ice spear. That's cool. Yeah. So that's uh, three nights down. Uh, I found a foot soldier's dab out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's Your good. Your appetite for learning is impressive. You make me proud. To have grown little legs so readily. You mm. Must have a fabulous teacher. Oh, come on. She likes when I buy a lot of things. Yeah. I went back and spent the extra money on some of those uh, those spells that, that are beyond my my level right yeah. now. Uh, Phalanx and Barrage. So these are still high end, but I just, I'm like, ah, I can afford it right now. And I don't want to go forward with like less levels, less, less cells than a level mm. and have them wasted in the unknown. So let me just come back and shop. Okay. I see your souls on the ground there. That was so little damage. Because he's real. Let's have fun. Uh, uh, Stun locked. <laughs> Unlocked. Let's have fun. <gasps> oh shit. Lightning. Punch him in the back. Right in uh, the kidneys. <laughs> get that. Boys. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, Reggie, here's the deal with fists. Poise. They annihilate poise. <laughs> you have to be unforgiving and unrelenting, and specifically the R2. Because the R1 will do a lot of hits, but the R2 will annihilate poise. But you, you have to stun lock. Right? And you have to know when to get the fuck out. So this is what it is. I've been playing around and I've been like, okay, this is Cestus play. Cestus play is real. It's a, it's an actual, it's a viable thing. And if I buff them up, <laughs> we can go that way, right? But it definitely feels like it's the, it's what you can do once you've already encountered the threat, right? Pulling it like it's kind of like it, it's. I would say the same to be honest of most power stances dual wielding in general like role based play is is you can get it very instinctually and, and do well but like especially with something like Cestus I feel as if you have to kind of know a bit about what's coming okay and then get in there you wouldn't go into the wild naked with them it feels like really unnecessarily hard to do so right especially when some things have timings that you just don't know for sure yeah and you're like okay I could have like learned that but instead I'm just gonna fucking lose it here so um, but that's the, what it is when you know there's a moment you know there's you have to know when to get a fully charged R2 in and there's no way to pull that off like the first time without like l getting the knowledge the moveset, yeah. exactly but that's the play the, the payoff right so that's, this is fun we're gonna keep those on for fun times and I'm gonna try to see if, uh, if there's anything that can uh, help make that better because I truly enjoy those moments mm -hmm. 
uh, not too far from there. Just letting the people know. <laughs> it's not a... It's nothing down there. Don't you dare. Nothing down there for you. <laughs> yeah. Running in the fog. We can become a punch mage. Punch mage? We can become a punch mage. <laughs> the beast eye quivers. It does. A death root uh, around. It does. Be wary of message. No ladder ahead. Therefore, try right. Uh, so, yeah, I saw a little something over there. Just peeked my head around this corner. So that structure that we saw just about next, next to the artist shack has no entrance uh, up top. Oh. Recognize it? The boat master. What? On land. On land? <laughs> uh, the mariner returns. What? <laughs> and then he's gone. And we have no idea where the fuck he went. Uh. Yep. Sure. So he's just dead there and he's like never coming back? Oh, at this point. I have uh, my Uchi out. I started messing with the Uchi. Okay. And I also put a uh, Carrion Greatsword on the Uchi, uh, which is the super cool spell. Because I wanted to see, like, you know, if I was going to swerve off of Blood Bloodhound Gang, what would we do? <laughs> Where is... Yeah. So does that mean you need to like go back there? And again? no, oh, he's, been, he's back. Yep, just at least for now. Yep, he's a bit of a bitch. Sturdier than some others. We're also using a weaker sword. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, much weaker. What is he doing? Stop calling people. Yeah, I think I think that's just his summons exactly. And then they're rezzed. Almost squashed you there. But his water can can actually attack them. So you just gotta make sure they stay dead. I'm like, well, if this fucking sword ain't gonna do shit. And then he's gone again. All right. Where'd you go? Let's make it count. Dude. Fucking stealth boats. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> are you really off the water? Yes, you are. On land. Oh, my God. Fuck off. <laughs> Beating him up. Punch mage, let's go. I'll take that. Oh. Get his kidneys. Right? You think a ghost is immune to a liver blow? <laughs> <gasps> oh, you punk. Don't want to stay in the water. Oh. Ah, he's out. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? And then the cronies are all on this side now. Thankfully, that fucking flask lasts for a long time. Yeah. Whoops. Because I feel like 45 seconds has passed. Uh oh. Alright, let's not get greedy.
As much as I like punching <laughs> things, I will not be punching things on top of the horse. <laughs> that's just... That's just difficulty that's unnecessary. Shooting Death Skulls. And oh, again, come on. I know, I know. Yeah. He want he doesn't want none, man. Oh, over there. On land and sea. Those guys with the right with the scythes in particular are like da super dangerous. The spear guys you can you can kind of ignore a little more for the most part. But the the, the scythes are are like one hit, two hit problems. Yeah. Fuck off. Stop that nonsense. Uh. No, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enemy fell. Fucking <laughs> the fucking body, stupid ghost. <laughs> soft ghost, soft. absolutely, yeah. So there we go, death roots and skeletal banded ashes. So we can feed Gerank a bit more. Yeah, I think I have to say skeletal from now on. Ever since that first time, yeah, when I just <laughs> fucking mouth farted. <laughs> Uh, here. What's here? Aha, uh -huh, another little dungeon. Found a cave. Cliff bottom catacombs. Yeah. So, uh, then some of those little, uh, ambush fuckers dropped a show tell. Okay. And then not too far from there. Uh, was the actual building entrance. First off, I failed. Therefore, good luck. Carrion Study Hall. Tears ahead. So it seems. Ghost make ghost. Oh, celestial globe, transmit to posterity the wisdom of the moon and stars and obscure forever the transgressions of the something something yeah so we just touched grace just to be like all right we found a we found a spot we found a spot for a while i couldn't paul pull up the map and it's cuz this guy was hiding and like literally like just causing it to be in a combat environment oh, while shit. while kind of like stalking me so then i realized what was happening he faces it in and out fast. Yep. yep. So just, there are dudes like that sometimes. Uh, and it was kind of nuts, because I'm like, I can't look at the map. I can't, what the fuck, yeah. what's going? Because you're in combat. Uh, then, back up top. Ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> Clean. Jarberg. Oh, I see a big jar over there. Land of the living jars. Yeah. So? This is where they come from. And there's a tiny jar. Tiny jar. So we got some smithing stone. Wandered around a little bit. What's going on, guys? No talking. Is that Alex? No. But uh, not hostile. New Nikella's lily. New flower. Not hostile unless provoked, it would seem. Don't you dare. So... No conversation, but also, and they're targetable. But uh, yeah, they're just chilling. Seek friendship. So Jarberg. 
<laughs> okay. And the Grace nearby, in case you ever want to come visit. Yeah, no, quite literally, they're not Alexander. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then we looked around, and basically it seems to be an area full of flowers. Right, so there's some good pickings. Um, and a couple of items, but mainly just, you know... Yeah, we got some pots. Pot. So, and it seems like these are for like throwable items. If you need to like cook uh, a, a consumable mm. and then like have a throw, you, you need a pot to hold it in. A uh, new type of flower. Eye of yellow. And if you can, you can actually apparently you can take like cons like throwables, like a firebomb, and tie a string to it, and then it'll be throwable backwards while you're riding. Oh, so like there's like shit like that. Backwards, okay. Backwards tosses, exactly. Very, very situational. Um, so there was, yeah, the Eye of Yellow. Got another cracked pot. Uh, and I want to say one of these houses, you couldn't go in any of them. Uh, yeah, I was looking for the name Michaela. Ritual pot. Okay. Yeah, we did see a graveyard with a bunch of swords in it a while back, with a, uh, a scripture that said, Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blade of Michaela, oh. now on his knees, begging for mercy. Okay. So that flower is named after the, uh -huh. that person. So this pot is hostile. Whoa. And this person has a living jar shard on it. And the living jar shard is a piece of one of these dead living jars. This is not hostile. He still he stands up, but he doesn't fight you. The only one that fights you is that small one. And right? why? So he put it together. Everything is peaceful. There's one of them that's a baby. And there's a human body with a piece of a living jar on it. A human came and probably killed her, its parents and took a jar shard. And then it knows humans are evil. So it's attacking you since you walked by Damn. and you're another human. But the others are, 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 are fine. Right? So then, yeah. And it says that like, basically like those, those shard pieces are powerful items for um, crafting. Okay. So that's why people are coming and trying right? to get them. But that's it. So that that's the one that'll attack you because, you know, humans are bad. We are flawed. Damn. Okay, look at you go. Power stance S stock. Since we got access to two of them, just tried it out. Yeah, it's yeah, a cool yeah, combo. Yeah. Uh, picked up a Ray Lucarian helm. This is back from that grace we found. Okay. Some greaves. Uh, yeah. And then I said, all right. Let's come looking around more of the ruins, since I kind of went back the opposite way. Mm -hmm. I am calling Oleg. Mm -hmm. I see your souls down there. Mm -hmm. What did you see? A problem. What the fuck? Oh, that's a lot of green. No boss-sized life bar. Just a problem. With ads. Oh, they told you to stop. Drink up. Oh shit! Oh, Oleg shit. goes Oleg down. Is gone. So this, so future zones are like, yeah, no, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care about your bros. There's me and like eight of my homies, and we're just gonna fucking give you a bad time. Uh, and we have 24 arms and another situation of just you, you got a glove wart for that so uh, I believe those are useful items but ultimately uh, no major like ash or anything mm. damn right in front of it another teleporter 
wherever the fuck that might go. First off, hole. So, we found the teleporter, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I'm going around. Aha! Kokoda. Whenever you get to some ruins, keep an eye out for a little staircase. That seems to be the, the main focus of like taking out whatever's in the area. It's not necessarily that the thing itself will drop the item, but... Ha! Huh. What's in the box? Someone put a message on top of uh -huh. it. Wraith calling bell. So I'm like, what the fuck is that? A different kind of summon? Well, uh, I tested it out. Bell used by worshippers of revenants. Ring the bell. Use some FP. A summon prowling wraith. This is going to be done multiple times in a row. Wraith are said to be the vengeful spirits of those who died when cursed. It's literally what they do. And it will home to It'll the home in. Nearest enemies. Cool. Yep. Reality stone. <laughs> <laughs> and it uses FP. So again, even if you're not a caster, you've got options. Mm -hmm. Great. So I was like, oh shit. How strong is this? Right? Like, they actually, they give you multiple spells that you can just use without being a spellcaster. You know, the ability to hide with by becoming an object yeah. and all that shit. So I'm like, that's an interesting thing they're doing, you know? And of course, the weapon arts. Because it's, yeah, it's like, people want to have fun even if they decide to go full strength build or full dex builds. You know, and um, smartly they, they, they designed it so that you can still have fun. So yeah, I think we took it for a spin. Another one of these guys. But you can just keep using this, dude. And like... Ding ding. You know? It oh, uses, that one hurts them. It uses very little FP. And it tracks really well. Fantastically. It's a great item. <laughs> it's a really good item. That was really good. And they're doing the same thing to you. You know? <laughs> don't get confused. And they don't like it. They don't like their own medicine. You know? So that is a, a solid, like, 10, 15 shots off of one, one bar. bar. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we wander a little bit. Fire on top of the hill. Is mm -hmm. that another merchant? Mm hmm. All right, creatures all around the beach. Land octopi, octopode. <laughs> oh my god! He moved. If it isn't our friend, fancy seeing you here. I was wondering where you were turned up. It's been a long while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rayo <laughs> <laughs> Patch Mart. Yeah. <laughs> You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. 
So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> How about that? Giving you some deets. How about that? He all straight right. up tells you. All right, By the way, all right. Uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Okay. And then he sells his shit. Nothing new there, but that's that's patches. Doing the work, indeed. Mm -hmm. We found a nice little isolated cliff. Mm -hmm. Hell of a view. And but this is essentially the new zone from the back. That storm veil way over there. Okay. And uh, that is the church that we visited. So you're just looking at it from the backside. And then a procession of fire boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> And there's a, a big one over in the back. Taking a sweet time. Oh damn, Golden Vow, let's go. <laughs> let's go, big boy. <laughs> Oh, he cooking. He cooking. He's cooking. Well, we're blessed. Fire spout. Yeah, hit him with that sunlight yellow overdrive. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh. Crumple. Mm. Mm. My turn. Oh, and spinning. that's that's where you gotta that's where you gotta take like give him his turn. That's ready, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, I was close. <laughs> With a tree behind me. It knows you want to run to the side. Oh. That Hammond beat. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Oh, that was good. The Spunderfly. Q Jonathan fun. theme. Not MP3. So that's a thing. And uh, then I got some militia armor. Okay, you got most of the set? Almost. Yeah. And that's what I did. That was pretty good. That's what I did. That's the catch up. You did a lot. That took a while, but it was a lot. Progress. It was a lot. That's, that is a full, or that is, let's say, um, two thirds of an area summarized without the actual indoors. Um, and I think, yeah, this is the way to. Damn, that's guy. Yeah, this is the way to to to, to probably <laughs> progress. <gasps> Holy shit! This is what we do, we've, I've done, right? So this is Stormvale. This is that first bonfire we found and this is everything so the ever jail is over here uh -huh. this is where i would just was fighting that fire guy this is where patches is um this is where the yeah, the, room. the bell was you know all of that shit and then uh going up this road was uh the lobster was like uh basically like down there <laughs> This is the, the the study hall, Jarberg, you know? Yeah. Artist Shack. And then I stopped right beyond the Artist Shack. There's a little, there's a grace over here. And then I didn't go up this way. Okay. So this is all still new. 
Um, and this looks like a volcano. Yeah. Uh, this a looks like an tree earth tree. Here. Exactly. Uh, so there's more to there's more to do in this in this zone, but like the bottom half of this I've I've scouted, uh, and then there's a cave over here worth checking out as right. well. So um, yeah, it's just uh, 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 you know like a lot of that a lot of that scraping is done, but we can still of course we have homework to do. We, we're going back to the to the Stormvale. Um, but of the things that were found, uh, yeah. So I had, I had, I was trying to find out what what best to put on, um, what best to put on the uh, fists as a secondary yeah. ash. And I had kick because it's like if a guard goes up, I want to kick open that guard. But then I kind of realized, well, it's doing poise damage, but so is charged R two, you know. And <laughs> the real way to get better damage, the only other thing I have for better damage is a uh, golden vow which creates these fists, which splits it with holy damage. So for now, basically, holy yeah. damage is what's it's, is uh, what we're getting. So you're either looking at like, yeah, like 80 something plus the regular scaling or 72, 72. So that's like an overall improvement. Um, so that's nice. And I equipped it, but I didn't actually um, show off the move. Uh, this was the greatsword. Let me find... Was it? No, it wasn't in the dismounter. I did level up um, strength by one point just to get to 19 in order to swing the dismounter around because I was considering it as an alternative because it's very high damage. Yeah, those numbers are crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, so this is the... This is a... Oh, yeah, Grave Scythe. I put the in, Blessed okay. in there. Um, you know what? I, I can't find it, so let me just make it again. Oh yeah, uh, and this, and I can put the spinning weapon on the staff because why the fuck not? It's, <laughs> it's it's worthless, but it's 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 a thing. Uh, so yeah, the dismounter. Blade, uh, Uchi. So we can take the Uchi. I can put on Carrion Greatsword. Make it a magic Uchi. And I can also, uh, take this one. No. It has to be a smaller sword. There's a Twin Blade? Yeah, Twin Blade. With Ice Spear. And make it a cold Twin Blade, for example. And now you have some kind of fun, interesting options to consider. So Sounds cool. If we look at the Uchi. Now, instead of having the quick draw stance, it's replaced with... That. Or... <laughs> so cool Uchi. so cool right so two layers of that if you want to just crumple anything and uh, basically it's the great western Ichimonji <laughs> you know that's what it is that's what you're doing um, that's a fun spell to have uh, that's a fun ash to have on your on your weapon and you can put that on a dagger you can put that on and whatever. It super big. You can put... I put it on Misericorde. So, like, little... Little, little dagger. crit dagger. Little yeah. crit dagger. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> That's right? cool. Absolutely fun. And then Cold Twin Blade will build up Frost, which is basically a lot like... Um, it's a lot like Bleed, right? You build up the bar. You do the damage. And then things get iced, and Frost then they bites. and they they it hurts. Yeah, it explodes with damage. They start smoking out and being cold for a while. While they're already cold, you have a harder time building back up that frost. However, are you familiar with Gil's retribution system? Yes, yes. So if you do the fire stuff on them, you switch to fire, them? and they take extra. Oh, that's cool. And then you can go and start the cold process again. So if you have something fiery. You can 
put the whole combo together. That's good. With okay. frost and flame. Very cool, right? Uh, so that's that's a fun thing to consider as well. You know? Uh, yeah. No, it's it's great. It's great. Um, I guess other cool thing. Yeah. So I'm keep. I kept the bell on. Uh, other cool little thing about the the outfit I have, I guess, is that uh, when you take the hood off, it just puts it backwards. It's interesting. The hood on its own is actually it's like you can wear it as its own item, but all it does is it just lifts up. I see that. Um, when you take off the robe, you just you wear a black uh, uh, like a like a, a brown hood. Huh. So it's cosmetically linked. You know. Like, they match together specifically to create this look when you have both of them together. Okay. And individually, they don't have the same thing. Furthermore, if you stitch them, you can make it so it's just a brown underlayer, and then you, you get a, a completely different look with it. But there are some items that are, or some sets at the very least, I guess, that might be like this, where if you have two of the two pieces together, they will match in a unique way. Okay. So, yeah, that's very fun stuff. Um... So I've been spending so much time out in this, you know, north uh, northwestern area that I, I fucking I kind of forgot the the storm veil. But Are you doing things. Well, let's 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 do it. We have to resume. We do have to resume. Uh, so if I remember correctly, we basically made it right down to the two places that we had to explore was the the big party room, and then there was the room just beside um just beside the um the it, it behind the the front gate because there was the beast yeah there was a gate side chamber or something is that what you're referring to uh like we fought the beasts, the lion so you remember this we room we found the grace right yes yeah. we found the grace so the, the door to the right behind where those guys are guarding. Okay. Right. So we we, we, did, we didn't get to see what was back there. And if we don't want to go through a ton of guys again, we could probably do a little sneaky deaky. But perhaps not a ton of it. <laughs> I guess these guys are going to get activated. Unless I sprint past them. Good luck. Let's test out the range on this. Oh, that's fantastic damage. Yeah, that's a lot of bullets. One. And they're not awake. They're still sleeping. Good. Uh, let's just quietly our way into this door. Be wary of up. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. I see. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, alright. Did not miss. That's not a healing. 
<laughs> hold down, hold down. Yo. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's try this again. Two angles of, of ballista. On an arm. Nowhere to go from there, except over there. Okay. And down. Okay, you kind of have to keep going. Yeah, I thought you had to take. Okay, you can't really reach those other guys then. So, I guess... Oh, it's murderous. I guess just run past, try to get up the stairs. Um, but there's obviously dudes in the way. You don't want to fight them in the... At that angle. In fact, it might be just... Might be better to just go backwards and deal with this from the other side. You know? One, the others wake up. Hmm, sprint through is also probably a bad situation. Um, okay, well, you're, I'm able to stealth at least halfway up. I'll take the first guy out. How does the other side look? There's just a wall. It's just wall, yeah. And obviously, they all have eyes on the stairs. Uh-huh. So to get to that lower area, you're going to put yourself in danger. Ballistas. All right. And go time. Oh, got your back. Nope. Damn, damn. Something's behind me, too. Okay, you didn't shoot. Okay. Go crease. Are you just super dumb? <laughs> and it's an okay, is this the same party room? Or is it just a different angle? It looks like it's the same room. I can't tell. It lo it definitely looks like it leads to the same place. So we're, we're better off sneaking through the back like last time. So that's the party that was deeper, right? Oh boy. At least they fall into... Uh oh Oh boy. Alright, 
so it's the party room. That's the front line. Oh, they're aggressive. I'm out of drinks. Uh-huh. So, all right, now we know. He followed. Okay, cool. So that connects the map together. And then we have a couple of side rooms that we can look at. Uh, all right, so the best way to approach that room is going to definitely be the first way we did it, which is from above, targeting the boss, getting Oleg out, and then coming backwards because everyone's projectiles are facing forward. Okay. Uh, and that involved doing the drops. No, not that way. Um, it was through the rooftop. And then jumping to the other, to the second rooftop. If I'm remembering correctly. Nope. Be quiet. I guess you guys get up. I forgot about the guy over there. <laughs> Okay, so then we basically, we dropped here, we dropped here, we did this, I saw the bird, uh, we went from bird to, I think over that end. Three, and you got a second Warhawk's Talon. Yeah, I, so I put this blade to plus three. And I put uh, Cestus, I think, to plus three as well. Oh. Just so, you know, I've spent... Uh, I've spent some... of the money. Uh, let's see if we can't get... that first guy just zoned out. Three. Uh, okay. Are you gonna have your back turned? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's a decent point to get a... Hey! Nice! Finally! Finally. Finish nice halberd. Uh, after he does the spin and then the rush, we can actually get a counter there. He doesn't do a follow-up, or he didn't do a follow-up. Mm -hmm. Vanished Knight's halberd, eh? A finely crafted halberd, intricately engraved with an ancient motif. Given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Ah! Oh! Dare you? Jeez. Oh. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. Charge forth is the skill. Rude. Very rude. DD 14, 12, 125. That's pretty decent. 
for starters. D strength, D dex. Okay. Four. That's a halberd. Handed. Nice. Oh. All right. That's a halberd. So there should be two guys. 